This is the getting started video for Markdown. If you haven't done so already, please visit the homepage and view the What is Markdown introduction video. Also, consider clicking the Try Markdown link at the top of the page. I think it's useful prior to going through the resources or attempting any of the tutorials to go ahead and jump in the deep end and see how far you can get on your own. After doing so, go to the resources page and click on the common mark tutorial. I chose this tutorial for a couple reasons. First of all, as the history section explains, the commonmark.org site is doing a lot to support Markdown and to support various organizations, sites, and groups trying to make the most of Markdown as a version of Markup. Also, I like the fact that they don't require any personal information or logins in order to go through the tutorial. Simply come to this link and click Begin Lesson. When you're ready, it'll take about 10 minutes according to Common Mark. Personally, I think it takes closer to 15 or 20 minutes. But once you've taken that time, it's certainly worth it because they provide a comprehensive knowledge of all the things that are involved in writing with Markdown and creating a web text using Markdown's markup syntax. Following that, return to the resources page and go to the Stack Edit Editor. I've already uploaded one of my own Markdown files. Now, this is the one that I wrote myself to create the history page on this site. This page was actually first drafted in Markdown and then converted to HTML for my site. And you can see here the Stack Edit Editor, which I like quite a bit, is a lot like the Try Markdown link on my site where you have the Markdown code on the left and then a view of what it would look like rendered in a web page on the right. So go ahead and try, if you will, to write your own Markdown text, web text, article, blog post, uh, reading response, review, um, and then go ahead after you're finished, or even just copy and paste something from a Word doc and try adding some styling. And then after you're finished, click on the hashtag, and we're going to export to disk. Now here you'll see as markdown is one of the options, but all that will do is just export the raw markdown. What we'll see here is, is an initial introduction to some of the, what Markdown provides for web design. Now we're going to export using template. Stack Edit already has a basic CSS template included that they use to create a, a nicely styled page. We're not gonna get into editing that in this video, but just go ahead and click using template and save it. Here I'm gonna save it to my desktop. And we'll see by going to the desktop that we now have history.html. Now, if you double click this, it'll open in any web browser or whatever your default browser is. And you can see we have a nicely styled, simple web text, basic web page. So that is the getting started video. There are other videos to learn how to use Markdown and to do various things with it underneath the resources page. Thank you.